Hey everybody, Mike Stream here, and um, remember this little thing? Little uh, Mike Stream do it for you, your queen. Uh, we're gonna scrap it! Whoopsie. But anyway, we're gonna make a new one, and uh, let's see how that goes in this video. It's right here, and it's gonna start right now. Or now. Or now. Okay, everybody, as per usual, um, if you want the links to any of the music in this video, it is off oh, or there. And um, I hope you guys enjoy this video. Okay, first thing I'm gonna do is insert the derp face. Right now we make the boxes, which is, um, well, kind of the base of our design. Um, very simple, you just draw a box, copy it, slide it down, and then make the bits in between. Very simple part to do, and um, I don't really need to show that too much. And that's kind of the base, because I want to make it look like an arcade game, because insert a lot more cool arcade-ish things later. The next thing we do is build the joystick of the arcade machine. Now this part was very tricky, I had to get a source image because I don't want to copy anything. And basically, you just start by placing circles everywhere! And once you've done that, you've placed four bajillion circles, you kind of maneuver them around a bit to make the bases and parts of the joystick. Um, one thing that was kind of tricky to do is you have to kind of get the straight lines in between certain parts. That was tricky because they're all circles. You need to activate certain tools or snap-ons. That way, the, well, boxes are in the right position or else you get screwed over. But um, as I did this, it was very difficult. It was actually one of the most hardest parts because everything else is kind of easy because you had to get the tone right. And I got the colors right at the end and um, it's actually really good looking and I think, you know, you guys might like it. So on to the next part. I uh, forgot to mention the reason I'm putting the joystick there is because, you know, it's meant to be like an arcade table because it's a gaming channel, you know. Okay, for this part of the video, uh, we're going to be making like three little buttons like you have an arcade machine, you know, you'll have three different colored buttons or you go on. Now, um, these buttons were probably one of the easiest parts to make besides just, you know, doing the outline. And basically, you just get a circle, and then get another circle, and lap them over. Then when you do that, you change the color of one or two of them, you know, and then you kind of have a button. And then I just basically changed the color and made three different separate buttons. And that's kind of what the design looks like. And after shifting it around a bit, we get a complete image. And, you know, that's kind of what I did for the uh, start of my design. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this. I did. It was actually quite fun. And I recommend getting Inkscape yourself because it's great programming. I'll leave a link in the description below. So, um, and at the end of every video, I'm going to have to make this little conclusion because this is actually for school, which is amazing and awesome. But, um, this episode of the Inkscape, I learnt how to create shapes and recreate objects in my design. That is a very useful skill because, well, I can become a graphic designer if I wish. And, um, I think they're very fun to do. And I also learned how to build the base of a logo. If you guys want to try this out yourself, go ahead and, I don't know, email me or send me a link to the picture on the comments down below. So hopefully you guys enjoyed and see you next time. Mike Strom, signing out.